August was kind of a crazy book month for me. As in, I got a lot of new books. Like, when I say a lot, I mean like 20 plus new books. It was a lot of new books. So, I wanted to take you through all of the books I got through August and do a bit of a book haul and show you what books I got. If I've read any of them, I don't think I've actually read any of them yet. And then share a little bit of the story behind where I got them. And yeah, hopefully that will give you some ideas to add to your TBR of why I got specific books. So to start, I went to a bookstore early August. Bad idea. No readers should ever go to bookstores making a pledge with themselves that I won't buy any books. I told myself I was going to the bookstore because I was looking at comp titles and I was trying to figure out how bookstores arrange books. It seemed like a good idea in my writer brain. My reader brain did not quite comprehend. So I got two World War II books. Honestly, if you show me a World War II book with a price tag like that or this, honestly, I'm probably going to buy them, especially if they're endorsed by Lisa Wingate. Basically anything Lisa Wingate endorses, I buy which is not a good thing. So I got two World War II books and they've just been sitting on my shelf. So I do really wanna read these books. I've just had a lot of other books that I've needed to read. So I got two World War II books early on in August from a bookstore because they were on sale. After that, pretty early on in August was my birthday. So I turned 20 and I had gone with my sisters a few weeks before to a store and we were looking around and I always find the book aisles, it's a problem. But I had noticed a specific book and I was like, should I buy it, should I not? And I'm like, no, I just bought two books. I am not buying this book. And then on my birthday, my sister who was there with me, she surprised me with this book, the book that I had been interested in getting. So that was a fun surprise. And it was nice because I always love getting books, but the problem is that I can never really tell my family like what books I want because it's so sporadic. I mean, I do have a list of books that I would like, but it's just in my brain. So it's not something that they can really access. So it's fun that she got me this and surprised me with it. So I got this book for my birthday and then I kind of enjoyed messing around with it and I painted the bookends. Isn't that so pretty? I honestly wish I had a smaller paintbrush when I did this so that it could have been a bit more detailed, but I really like the gold accents with the pretty cover and the red. And yeah, it's really easy to do. So that was one book that I got for my birthday. And then my brothers really surprised me for my birthday. I was very shocked that they put this much time and consideration into it, but they got me two really, really nice copies of two classics. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? So Pride and Prejudice, Little Women, and you know what the cool thing is about these books? They have little things inside of them. So flipping through the books, we have The Invitation. So it's like all of the different details that happen, but it like they put it right where it actually happens. So like in one of the books where there's the invitation to the ball, I think it's in Pride and Prejudice, they have the invitation to the ball right there. It's just such a cool idea. And it's like with the calligraphy and everything, these are just really, really cool books. So to start, I don't usually get like five books a month, like ever, but it was my birthday. So I'm like, I got a couple books there. And then ACFW happened. And I was planning on bringing some cash for books because I mean, there's a lot of books. They have a bookstore there and they have all the authors who wrote the books there. So I'm like, I kind of have to get some books there. Um, I did not quite contemplate on the amount of books that I would come home with from ACFW. It was a lot, like an actual lot. So first day I get to ACFW and I go to the bookstore because why not? I think the last time that I went to ACFW, I didn't go to the bookstore till right at the end. So it was slim pickings of the books. And I was like, I'm going to get the best books this year. So I did. And I started with these two books by Robin Carroll, who is the director of the ACFW conference, who was sweet enough to sign both of my books. I tracked her down in the bookstore one afternoon and I asked her to sign them for me. So I got these two books to start. And then a little while after, I was going back through the bookstore. Basically, whenever I had a break, I went to the bookstore and I looked at books and I bought books or I dreamed of buying books. <laughs> so this was the other book that I got from the bookstore. I don't know what happened. I went to like all the dark murder mysteries, all the thrillers, 
I usually read historical fiction. I didn't buy a single historical fiction book from the bookstore. I don't really know what happened. It's just the back cover blurbs of the thrillers and dark books drew me in a little bit more. So I came home with a lot of those. And so Kara was also kind enough to sign my book for me. And then this is the fun part. So these are the books that I actually bought and I had a decent budget. I was planning on buying a decent amount of books. I only bought three. I came home with close to 20. Free books happened. And when you tell me free books, I cannot resist. So if there are any free books ever, they will be coming home with me, like always. So first day of ACFW, I just come out of the bookstore. I just bought those two books. I'm coming out and this is as a few of the booths. There were just like four tables, I believe, set up in the lobby area. And one of them was from Love Inspired and they had a table with books on it. And I was walking by and I was going slow because there was really nothing else to do. I was there a bit early. And so I was just waiting around and looking at stuff and they were setting it up. And then they put free. You cannot say free with books. It does not work. So I came up right away and I was like one of the first people there. And I'm like, free books. And they're like, yeah, take as many as you want. So I got the first choice of all of the books, which was like so awesome. So first book I got is this free book. I love World War II books. Anything World War II is going to get me interested. And it's got an amazing cover and the back cover blurb seemed interesting. So I got this to start and then I asked if I could get another one. So they said yes. So I got this one again. I don't know what's up with the thrillers or the dark romantic suspense books that seem intense. It happened. So I got that. And then this table stayed open for a long time and they had just a lot of little romances. All the bigger books went really fast. There weren't a ton of them, but they went really fast. And then they had littler books. So I kept crossing this table like a lot as I was going to sessions or back from pitch appointments. And I like picked up a book like every time. So I ended up coming out with all of these little romances which fit perfectly on the bottom shelf of my bookshelf. That is so cute. So I got quite a few books here. These are all little romances, but that's not it. I got more books. So last day of ACFW, let me paint this picture for you. I don't know why I'm being weird. <laughs> so it was the last day of ACFW. All this time, there has been this table from Bethany House that showed new releases. And so they just have the books on the table set out Basically, you can just look at them and they were pretty books. They weren't for sale or anything. Last day, right before the gala. Note, I have been at the conference the whole time because I didn't go anywhere to get changed for the gala. So I'm just staying here. I'm just sitting around waiting. They're clearing down the tables, getting things set up for the gala. And they take all the books down, set them on the table and just put free. Yeah, I can't resist that. They're from Bethany House. And they're new releases that are like really good. So obviously I was over there and I was the first person over again. <laughs> and so I got two books. I got this book because I have been seeing this and the first book around on social media like crazy. And I really, really wanted to see what it was actually about. So I got that book. And then the favorite book, I got this. And I read this book a few days ago. Just wait for my September reading recap and you'll hear all about it. But it was like, amazing, absolutely amazing. It would probably go in one of my top 10 for the whole year. I got this book for free and I will say this had about the best signature. I basically all the books that I got at ACFW, I asked people to sign because basically all the authors were there. This is my favorite signature that I got. It was absolutely the sweetest. I went to her session and she was so sweet and we talked a little bit about my edit letter that I had just gotten because that was what the session was about and she's just really encouraging. And so then when I got her book after the gala, I tracked her down and asked her to sign it and she was just really encouraging and sweet. And then we come to the actual gala. The night of the gala, I thought this was about all the books that I was gonna be getting. When I got my dress for my mom, I actually gave her a large stack of books because I had so many in my backpack, it was hurting my shoulders. Like I think I got a rub burn on my shoulder from my backpack weighing like 50 pounds. So I thought that was all the books that I was gonna be getting for ACFW and I was fine with that. That was like 15 books. But that evening after the gala, a favorite author won a Carol Award. And so I didn't know she was actually gonna be at ACFW. So it was a surprise that she was there at all. And 
afterwards, I ran up to her and I was like, I love your books. I almost brought some to have you sign. And then I did not bring them because I stalked you on Instagram and I didn't see that you were coming. And she was absolutely the sweetest. And she was like, well, I actually have some books in my room that I could grab and sign for you. So after she took a picture, she ran up to her room and she grabbed these two books brought them down and signed them for me. And we had an amazing conversation while she was signing books. So now that I have like 20 plus new books from August, I need to figure out what to read. <laughs> so I just have a lot of new books that I need to figure out what I'm doing with. And the really funny thing was that before August, my bookshelf was overflowing to the point of like, I was stacking it on top of the bookshelf and it was touching the ceiling and my bookshelf does not touch the ceiling. So, I had to do some serious rearranging of the bookshelves and I found another bookshelf and I made some space and I'm losing space really fast. So I'm going to need another bookshelf pretty soon. But yeah, so that was all of the books that I got this August. So this is my August book haul. I do not usually get this many books in a month. I honestly get like one book a month, if that. So to get like 20 plus books in a month was like the reader dream. So if you enjoy this video and want to stay in the loop for more reading recommendations or hear what books that I read every single month or actually make sure to stay tuned for September's reading recap when I share more about this book, then make sure to subscribe so that you stay in the loop for all of my upcoming videos. And if you got any fun books this August or September, since it's pretty late in September already, make sure that you drop a comment below and we can talk about it. I would love to have a discussion down there with you. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week. So Pride and Prejudice, Little Women. I just did that the other way around. Little like 50,000 word warm, warm answers.